breaking news, guys. Uh, gunmen strike again. Oh. They burn Anambra, uh, Ogbaru, local government secretariat, in second attack within three months. According to reports, the assassins who attacked the local government secretariat in the early hours of Friday set several buildings ablaze, including a town hall designated for traditional rulers and various administrative facilities. Which kind of wahala be this? Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always stopping by. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, Nigerians. Now, don't they see the matter now? Say this matter don't come off or be careful. These people, they keep on uh, attacking every now and then. You get. They keep on attacking. And as it is right now, you they see say the attack in no one stop. Anambra State Police Command has confirmed that a large group of gunmen attacked and burned down the Secretariat of Ogbaru, local government in the state. Hmm. According to a report, the assassins who attacked the local government secretariat in the early hours of Friday set several buildings ablaze, including a town hall designated for traditional rulers and various administrative facilities. The spokesperson for the state police command SP Tochuku Ikenga confirmed the incident to Sahara reporters on Friday, saying, attack on Ogbaru local government area. In the early hours of today, 30th of August 2024, the security operatives gallantly resisted the gunmen. Uh, some local government properties were destroyed, some buildings were affrighted, and no life, life was lost as joint security operation is still ongoing. Though no as, uh, uh, casualties have been reported so far, witnesses told the punch the attackers fired indiscriminately into the air, causing widespread panic among residents. One witness said, around 5 a.m., about 30 gunmen emerged from the bushes, chanting as they stormed the local government secretariat and fired shot into the air. They moved from their hideout to the nearby Atani Magistrate Court and began setting buildings within the council premises on fire, including the main secretariat and the traditional ruler's structure. They were in the process of igniting traditional additional building when secu uh, sec uh, security forces arrived and fired back, causing the attackers to retreat into the bushes. According to the witnesses, just yesterday, a security guard named CY died from bullet wounds sustained during a gun battle in the Amai community on August 27, 2024. On August 5, two young men were killed by the gunmen, and five days ago, a retired poli policeman was beaten to death by the same group. On June 15, 2024, Sahara reporters reported that gunmen suspected to be uh, ar ar arsonists attacked the, the same Ogbaru local government area headquarters and set four security vehicles ablaze. These uh, assassins arrived at the local government headquarters on motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So, who won't come talk say there is peace in Nigeria? There is no peace. See Igbo land that we used to know. A peaceful region. It has turned to the southern Gomorrah country. Nine be this. Every day, every day, every day. My, my question is, who are these unknown government? Why is it that t -t -t now, with the presence of Nigerian military, in that region these things keep on happening that is what i don't understand because that place is full those regions they are fed up with soldiers why are these people still you know having their ways i pop they will say i pop when it happens like this they say i pop not then do them i pop not the enemy of themselves but these people they don't talk them time without number 
say they not be gone men. They are not those people who are, uh, you know, uh, causing problems in the Southeast. Now, the question is, who are these people and what do they really want? You understand? Because this is getting out of hands. Destroying these things that is meant for them. You understand? The government is still going to spend money for all this again. So, I think it's high time the government should look into the issues in the Southeast and address it. Make all this while I stop for once. Because, as you can see, is these problems are not ready to stop until the government of Nigeria stop it by themselves. What they're supposed to do is by releasing the mass in Namdi Kano, a dialogue, dialogue with agitators. So, anybody, when they don't dialogue, when they don't release mass in Namdi Kano, anybody, when one carry while I come, they will come understand the page when the person day. Now, so did they take they do something. The way when they just hang everything, these problems will not cease. Because people who be say they are all not just to destroy, in the name of agitations, in the name of uh, asking for Mazin the Canon's release, they are going to be causing problems. After all, Nam the Canon don't, don't talk him. He said those people, when they cause problems, not be high pop agitators. So now the question be say, who them be? Are they dropping for you? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a, time, a thumbs up or a big share this video. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.